This is my 555 design contest entry, magnetometer made from an electronic article surveillance tag. Here's the schematic. Uh, pause if you want to look at it more closely. The timing element in this 555 circuit is actually an inductor rather than a capacitor. And this inductor is made with a piece of this electronic article surveillance tag, uh, this high permeability met glass alloy. This is a cross section of the tag with the met glass and the bias strips which have to come out. Uh, this is an EAS tag from a library. It's a strip of met glass with these bias buttons in it. Um, you can just see the bias strips as little bumps in the surface of the tag and these have to be peeled back with a uh, razor knife and removed in order for this to work. So uh, there's the bias strip removed from the met glass strip and now we uh, insert the met glass strip into the center of a reed relay coil that's had the glass reed switch pulled out. Here's a circuit in operation. The upper waveform is the comparator input to the 555, which is the current waveform through the inductor. It, the waveform is identical to what you'd see from an uh, RC. And here comes the uh, coil. And if this is rotated just in space, we see the frequency go up and down. This is due to the Earth's field changing the saturation timing of the core, uh, which changes the slope of the current waveform. Um, Earth's field is substantially uh, vertical here, so we, s we can rotate it in that plane and see it could change. Here comes a permanent magnet. And of course, this is much stronger than the half a Gauss Earth's field. And we see a very large frequency change in this case as the meth glass goes into saturation earlier and earlier. Another source of core material are these resonant uh, security tags. These don't work as well as the met glass and the tattle tags, but these are a lot easier to get. You can just notch the sides and wind a coil around them. Uh, a couple thousand turns will do the trick. These also have a bias strip in them that has to come out in order for this to work. Uh, the bias strips are what are used to enable and disable the tags when you buy something. Here's uh, one of the resonant tags. Uh, if you flip it over and uh, peel the back off, you'll find two uh, metal ribbons in there. One of them is a bias strip. Uh, it's usually on top from this angle. You pull that out, it's usually shorter than the, than the um, met glass strip. That has to be left in there and it has to be free to move. Um, you can then glue it down to a piece of G10 with uh, notches in it to hold the coil. Here's another version of the thing with a uh, custom wound coil and the 555 and the coil and everything are potted in a little tube making a complete compact module. Uh, another improvement you could make would be to uh, add another winding uh, inside a phase lock loop to hold the frequency constant and then of course that will completely linearize the output. Possible practical applications for this would be things like uh, vehicle detection, uh, DC current monitoring, or uh, compass sensors.